All right, what's up, everyone? Um, making this video for you guys. Uh, this is my foam posit collection. Um, it's not a ton, but it's ten pairs. It's what I got total. So uh, yeah, I'll go and show you guys what I got. Uh, first off. silver and black these uh pros I'm not sure if they're from 05 or 07 I, I can't remember exactly um, see the bottom these are worn I got these worn um and I wear these too but um they're they're really comfortable like these compared to foams now these are these blow them out of the water I, in my opinion at least because I mean uh this, the foam material on these, at least, it's so much softer compared to some of them now. It's it's crazy soft, dude. Um, and then also, you can see right there, it's not Nubuck. On these, it's leather. And you have a silver uh, swoosh right there. These are really crazy. These are really nice. Um, I got... They're still intact, but I got tape on there. Um, but, yeah... And then also, like, I wanted to say, um, personally, if I had to play basketball in a foam posit, I would play in pros. Not sure about you guys. Comment and let me, let me know what you guys think. What would you rather play in a pro or a one? I would rather play in pros because I, I personally think the traction on pros is better than ones. And I also think that, um, like I saw in a video today, I can't remember whose it was, but uh, Chicago Shoebox liked it or something, so I watched it. And they're saying how, like, the one or the pros have, like, a little bit more spring on their insole. I, I, I know what you mean. I, I, I agree with you 100%. They, that's what I feel like too. So honestly, like people, say they hate on the big Nike swoosh on the side, but and they say that they won't like ones more because of that. Honestly, like for comfort and for feel and stuff, I almost have to like pros more. The look of ones might be a little better, but pros feel for me at least. I might actually like pros a little bit more. Um, but yeah. That's those. Um, love that shoe. It goes with a lot of stuff. Awesome. Love them. And then next I have these all blacks. Uh, black and medium gray. I got these used also. These were used a little bit more than those uh, silver ones. But um, like, like I said before, the foam posit material on these, it's pretty soft. It's not as soft as those. Those are really, really soft. These are, uh, these are still soft. They're nice. Um, these were worn a lot more. You can see the heel drag on those. So I wear these a lot too. Um, these have uh, Nubuck. It's got a different feel to it than Nubuck on some of the modern ones. But uh, that swoosh is like a, I think they called it medium gray. It's not like a silver, metallic silver. Medium gray, so it's a lot darker. Got that gray line going up. Uh, it was also intact on these tape in there um, but yeah you got just all black these are really nice too because let's see foam posit because um you can wear these with a lot of stuff a little dirty right there but uh haven't really bothered to clean them up in a while so yeah um, these are also a really nice pair of shoes love those next up we got the um pine green um like this shoe a lot. I missed out on release of these, but still, when these came out, uh, foams weren't like crazy like they were today. They weren't absolutely insane. Um, they sold. Out, they still sold out on the website, but I got them on eBay from a guy that I buy from a lot on eBay for like literally for like two fifteen, I think it was. And they, these retailed at the time for one ninety, so that's like a it's a pretty good uh, deal for getting these after release date. Um, I like this shoe because color changes a lot on them. Really sick. And you got on the inside, you got a. Let's see. You got a green Nike Air. Yeah. Uh, that's those. Next up, these. I haven't taken these out of the box in, since I got them, really, almost. Um, I love this colorway, though. So uh, I'll show you. And uh, these along, these had a blue tinted outsole, I believe, and these are completely icy still. 
These are also, I think these were blue tinted, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they were. But um, I think they're going to start yellowing on me pretty soon here. Um, right down there, you can kind of see it starting to happen. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Still, from most angles, though, it's completely icy. Um, I, do, I just I love the traction on pros. It's just really nice. Um, with these, you got some people call them the South Beach colorway. Uh, I never really felt that with the pink laces. I didn't really like that, but glossy uh, black swoosh on there. You have that retro blue, is what the colorway is called. Um, yeah, really nice. And there you go, Nike Air. And that blue. These are still dead stock, also. I plan on one day I want to bring all these out and rock them, but for right now, I've worn those too. God, I love how those look. They're so sick. Um, I've worn those too. These two are still dead stock. The dark pines are probably going to wear pretty soon. Um, those are all my pros. Um, I'm looking for the electric greens and pearls a lot, but. Can't seem to find them for a great price. And then uh, getting to my ones. These are uh, some eggplants. These were from 2010, I believe. I think in one of my videos I got it wrong. I said 2009, but I'm pretty sure these are from 2010. Um, like I got these from like a local mall, and they still had a full size run in these. Like I was at the time, I got like a pair in a smaller size, and then these also. And uh, I'm glad I got these because I still fit in these. I still fit in my older ones too. I think they're a little bit tighter. But um, as you can see, the yellow is a little fogged up. I don't really like yellow that much, but see that my camera is just going crazy, changing colors. But um, it's more just fogged up. Um, this is not as they're not as glossy, and the ridges aren't as defined as the 2009s I've I've heard. Um, and as you can see, yeah, they've worn out. But I'm glad I have them so that I can wear them a lot. Oh, it's really, it's a really nice shoe. I like it. Uh, then moving to the back. First ones, we've got these cough drops. You guys have seen these before in my videos. Um, got them from the Nike outlet store for like 100 bucks, something like that. 110, maybe 120. I don't know. But um, really nice shoe. I've worn these once. There's a little, there's a way it's on this side. Crease just a little bit right there. And then you got on the insole, like ear and red, they're still intact. Um, so cock drops, next up, you have these uh, House of Hoops, um, neon green, neo lime. That's what the colorway was. See the outsole right there. All that like translucent green. You got just a regular black upper. New buck, of course. And then that neon green on the swoosh right there. These are really nice. I'm glad I got these from House of Hoops. I was lucky I went in and get them. Um, there you go, Nike Air. Next up is one of my favorites in my foam collection. Right here, got these uh, Royals. Coming up on the camera, a lot more blue than what they actually are in real life. It's a lot, it's like a darker blue, but I think on the camera it looks a little brighter. Um, there you go. Royals. When I got these, like, this was when foams, again, foams weren't insanely crazy. People weren't obsessing over them as much. Um, and so, when I got these, like, shoes in my, where I'm from come out at 11 o'clock. I went on there. At 11.15, I think it was, and purchased two pairs of these in this size. One for me and one for my brother. Um, yeah, these are still dead stock. On the inside, you got Nike Air in white. I like that. looks awesome. I'm glad I didn't put blue or anything. Try to just screw it up. Got a white swoosh right there. And then and the soles. These are still completely icy. They might have a little bit of yellow tint to them. Just a little bit, but for the most part, I'm trying to look myself at them. Um, yeah, they're completely icy. I want them to keep them as icy as possible. I have 
all the ones with icy soles pretty much bagged up besides those pine greens. Um, and next up, get your metallic reds. These are a lot more like metallic than those blues or anything. He's got a crazy finish to him. Sometimes they look like they're just like gloss, gloss red, but then in real life, you'll see that they're actually really metallic. You got a white swoosh on the inside. Won't be able to see it very well, but make ear and white. Um, and then, oops, on the outsole, completely icy. These are dead stock still. I hope these don't yellow too. These are. That's a great shoe right there. Um, and my last, last but not least, the latest one. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice. I didn't even notice that. But that is yellow on these, and on the rest of them, they're white usually. Um, it's a different touch. But then again, they did change these up a little bit. Um, next ones, the Electro Limes. See that light popping off on there a lot. Um, I really like the color finish on these. These look really nice. The black Nubuck yellow swoosh in here. You don't have Nike Air, you have Nike with the swoosh underneath and the yellow insole. On the back, navy blue. And also on the bottom you got navy blue. And then completely iced out with regular, like white ice, not tinted or anything. And that, that white under there makes it weird because you can actually see that carbon fiber plate where it stops and stuff. Um, I like to, someone else said it too, I want to see how these hold up with yellowing. So I got a feeling yellow is going to get these pretty badly. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got. Um, those are my phone posits. It's my phone posit collection right there. Ten pairs. Uh, a lot of variety in color. Love all the pairs. Most of them are DS. I've worn four out of the ten. Six of them are still dead stock. Um, yeah, I just made this to show you guys my phone posit collection. And also... I also want to add, um, if you guys have size 10.5 foam posits, any colors that I don't have, and uh, wanting to sell them, I will buy them from you. I'm looking for foam posits, colors that I don't have, I'm looking for any foam posit size 10.5. Um, if they don't have icy soles, I, I'll take them, uh, I'll, ta I'll take them worn. If they have icy soles, I prefer them dead stock, but if not, still hit me up, um, I would, I'll probably still buy them from you. Um, I'm, ma I'm really, really, really looking for coppers because I can, I just can't anywhere I look. I can't seem to find them in my size for a good price. If you guys know anyone that does, or if you have them size ten and a half, hit me up. Uh, Dooms, really want those. Uh, pearls, electric greens, pewters, and uh, yeah, those coppers. Those are the main ones I'm looking for um, from the past two to three years. The ones I've missed really are. Computers, coppers, electric greens, and pearls. Um, so if you have any of those in a size 10 and a half, and we'll sell them, I'll buy them from you. I'm mainly looking for coppers. Please, if you guys have those, I'm dying to get those. I really want coppers in my collection. So yeah, so this video is for just showing you my phone posit collection, 10 pairs total. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment on what you think of my phone posit collection so far. And then keep in mind, looking for phone posits really badly, size 10 and a half. Um, hit me up. Thank you.